So today, the mail came and brought me this. Uh, this is my uh, Spark Fun Free Day order. So uh, if you don't know, this website called Spark Fun uh, does this thing. It's been doing it uh, since the third year, and it uh, basically gives away um, $100 to um, the winners of Free Day. And um, this time, there were... Uh, I think 2,000, roughly 2,000, um, $100 winners, and I was lucky lucky enough to uh, be one of them. And so, with my $100, I'm going to show you what I bought. Um, so let me open this up. Paper. Paper is always good. I didn't buy the paper, so that's free. Um, what do we got in here? We got a nice big, see, nice big red spark on box. I'll get to that in a second. More paper. So I have, first off, I have this thing. What is this thing you are asking? You were thinking? Um, this is the Spark Fun uh, Heatalyzer, I believe they call it. Heaterizer, Heatalyzer, Heaterizer. XL3000. Ooh. Um, yeah, it's got awesome directions. Instructions, sorry. Um, like, plug her in and switch her on. Stuff like that. Um, how about we do that? Okay, I have a plug. I'm going to plug it in and switch her on and see what happens. So, plugged in. Ta da! Switch on. Ooh. And I guess you wait for it to heat up. Um, blows hot air. So, it's a hot air gun. Right? smell it. It's a hot air gun and basically I'm going to be using it for like melting heat shrink and stuff and whatever whatever else I want to do. Um, maybe polymorph, stuff like that. Um, so I don't have to use a lighter anymore to melt heat sh shrink. And it was, um, I think it was 10 bucks. So there's 10 of my free day spark fun dollars. Now we have a box. So get rid of this box. And now we have a nice big red box. This is my biggest spark fun box, that's for sure. So obviously when I won this money, I was like, well, I don't really know what to buy. I never have a thought if I had a hundred free dollars at spark fun, what would I buy? So um, my thinking was, well, Get something cool that you wouldn't buy with your own money. Uh, you know, I was thinking XBs uh, for wireless communication, but I don't need them right now, and if I ever do, I'm willing to get them. But there's some cool stuff that, you know, it's cool, but I don't know if you'd ever buy it with your own money. And so half of that 100 bucks went to this little box. And this is a thermal printer, like a receipt printer. Um, let me open it up. So, it's got cables and stuff that I won't take out, but cables and screws and brackets. I'm not too sure what those are for. Um, oops. Dropped a screw. And, uh, so this is the box. Well, the printer itself. Pretty simple, I mean, Lightweight doesn't really feel like 50 bucks, <laughs> but it is. So um, I believe you open it up somehow like that. And interesting, it's already got a little little receipt thing um, showing characters and whatnot, baud rate, 
think this is what prints out the first time. And uh, so the paper goes in there, and I'll have to read up on how to use it, but it says serial, uh, serial uh, thermal printer. So, you yeah. know, that's what you would expect. I can print things out of it. I hook it up to my microcontroller and print stuff. So that's that. Uh, let me put it back in this little bag. So that's probably the coolest thing. Um, and of course, when you have a printer, you need paper. So these are two roll rolls of 35 feet, I believe, of printer paper. Port. Yeah. And the outside of it's already kind of black, so I guess I have to discard some of that. Um, what else? Um, this is a little Arduino Pro. Arduino Pro microcontroller board. Um, I, I I recently, you know, I always need a Arduino microcontroller sitting around my desk just for prototyping and uh, stuff like that. I just use my uh, my other one in. Uh, da Vinci, my Etch-a-Sketch robot. So, I was like, well, if I'm going to be building anything or even just testing this printer out, I need a microcontroller laying around and I don't really have them. I have some custom ones, but that's about it. I like a a good standard one laying around. So, I'm not going to open it up, but let's see. Arduino Pro from Sparkfun. Um Now, the last interesting thing. I've got, okay, so let me show you these things are very interesting. Um, Desoldering wire. I ran out. I need more, so I got more. This little power jack thing. Going to use it. This power jack uh, DC barrel end, and it's got um, screw terminals at the end. So those aren't very exciting. The last thing. I think this was 15 bucks, so better be worth it. Um. These are micro nippers. You read that? They're called micro nippers. It's a funny name. Uh, professional instruments. Da, da, da. Um, yeah, these are for clipping leads, wires. See, I have I have a real cheap pair. I got Radio Shack, and they rusted. I mean, these are these. I'll open these up, but these are like springy and stuff. This rusted up on me, and it's very hard to open and close, and yeah, so. I'm like, well, if I need to make something, which I always do, obviously I built robots, I need a new pair, and why not spend 15 bucks for, for 15 bucks should be a good pair. Ooh, these are cool. <laughs> wow, those are... Okay, so it's got like soft handles. Um, good spring. I mean, wow, that takes no effort. And uh, it should be sharp, springy. I mean, what else could you want in a pair of nippers? So do I have any wire I can cut or something? Wire, right? Cut. Wire, cut. So that's pretty awesome. Um, micro nippers. Those are cool. They're micro. I, I, I get I get the micro part now. I definitely feel it. Um, oh yeah, that's it. Um, so we had the heat heater riser, the thermal printer, the micro nippers the Arduino that's the bulk of the you know my hundred bucks I actually ended up let me see if it shows um, no I ended up paying uh, like four dollars plus shipping for all of it uh, I went just over my hundred dollars and uh, yeah so that's that's it that's everything um, I'm going to play with some of this stuff and maybe show you more of that but till then see ya